Today, friends, we're going to explore some advanced shapes for making cars, so let's get cracking. Tinkercad designer Lambo Ari had a question about how to make a cool hood. ZDP189 took a moment to share some awesome techniques. You can read the details right here, and of course, you can click Copy and Tinker. Please remember, though, always give a reaction before you copy and tinker. So once again, the user was asking how to make an advanced hood for a car. These are a few different designs. You can see they've got awesome curves. Behind each hood, you can see the shape it was created with. This is the inside of a Taurus one. This one uses the inside curve of the banana. This one does mathematical formulas. Right here, we have a bunch of cylinders. That's a common technique. And this is the hyperboloid. So to find out how these work, you need to do Control D. I'm going to do Shift Nudge to move it back, and let's ungroup it. If you zoom in and check it out, we still have a grouped part here. If we click on the piece underneath, it is a grouped part as well. I'm going to do another Shift Nudge so that I can check this out separately. So first, if we ungroup this one, you can see that is the inside of the torus. That is really slick and it curves both directions. I'm gonna click on these pieces right here and hide them for a moment. And let's see what we get if we ungroup the part that was on top. You can see that is where the other half is being cut. And of course you can click on the torus and see the numbers that were used. Knowing this information would help you generate one just like it. Of course, you can modify these and have a ton of fun making yours look as cool as you want. I'm going to delete those parts. And let's check out the next one. Once again, Control D, Shift Nudge to move it back. Let's ungroup and see how complicated this is. We've still got two parts here. This one still needs to be ungrouped. So we've got a part underneath that is cutting. I'm going to do shift nudge to move this one back. If we look at the underneath part and ungroup it, you can see it was created using the new banana. When we click on this new banana, you can see the curvature and the LOD that were used. I'm going to just delete those this time. And once again, if we go back here and ungroup, we also get to double check and see how the second half was cut. Of course, you can adjust those to get the exact results you want. Now, the next one is math. Let's do Control D, Shift Nudge, and let's check this out. This is using an inverse hole to actually cut out the hood piece from the math part. I'm going to hide that, and then we have got the shape. This is a super slick technique, obviously, if you are a skilled mathematician. Once again, I can delete that. Let's check out this one right here. Once again, same technique. If we do Control D and Shift Nudge, we can always go back and look at the original designs. If we ungroup it, check out the brute force squished cylinders that are used to create that awesome shape. This is a more common brute force technique, but as you can see, it works pretty darn well. I'm going to hit delete. Let's click on the last one. Do Control D, Shift Nudge. Let's do some ungrouping to see how this works. So right here we've got a hyperboloid that looks like it's been squished. If we click somewhere else, we can check the numbers. Of course, it's a hole. And then on top, we've got a hole that gives us a similar shape. I'm going to take this top one and shift nudge it out here. Notice that is the rounded shape. Let's see what happens if we ungroup this, what we get back to. You can see it was the same style. But after it was cut, it got turned into a hole, and then it looks like it was raised up a millimeter to give us the thickness. Once again, I'm going to delete those just because we can get them back anytime we want. Now, thanks to ZDP and the ability to copy and tinker, you have got some options for making epic curved shapes. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you, once you've used copy and tinker, if you go back to the design, you can click on ZDP's full collections of designs. ZDP has a boatload of projects. Whenever you click on them, they are likely set to copy and tinker, and you can learn a ton from all of his epic creations.
Of course, friends, a real quick thank you to Lambo Ari for the original question. And of course, ZDP, thank you for all your epic creation. Finally, friends, as I wrap up this video, I want to say thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. Absolutely love how that community is growing. And of course, I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget, every time that you hit that like button, add a comment, or share the video or the channel with somebody else, you're helping the channel get just a little bit bigger. And of course, that absolutely makes my day. Friends, have a glorious day and keep tinkering.